Hey everybody, in today's video, I have to apologize because there is crap everywhere. Like I announced in my last video, we are moving in about a week, week and a half-ish, and I got a pack, so it's just a mess back there, and I'm really sorry about it, but that's where we're at. But also, because I have to pack, I've packed up almost all of my makeup collection, except for enough for like a full face of makeup for the next week and a half too. So it's kind of like my holy grail staple products that I don't want to live without, and I'm not going to miss anything else. For the next week if that makes sense so that's what we're going to be using today so i'm going to show you just a nice kind of everyday easy look using the products that i've been loving right now and the only products that i'm going to have out with me until we move into our new apartment so thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if this is the kind of content that you like and yeah let's get into it so i'm gonna go in with the bite change maker foundation like I tried in my last video. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand today. I just wanna try it in a couple different ways and see how I like it because I really liked it yesterday but you never know, some ways might be better than others for applying it. So I just put some on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna blend that all over my skin. I am so excited to leave this apartment. It's been so good. I think I've told you guys it's very affordable and so we've been able to save so much money but it's just really junky and old and it's not in an ideal area for where we work and where Zach goes to school. So where we'll be moving to will be a little bit closer to everything. It's just gonna be way nicer. It's a little bit more money, but still at a good spot in our budget. I think it's gonna be just so nice to live somewhere. It's brand new, no one has lived there yet and it's gonna be great. I start to anticipate moving like so much that I can't really think about anything else or sleep so i woke up at like five this morning which i i'm not like a i don't sleep in typically but i definitely don't wake up at five so that was upsetting but i got some good packing done so this room like is getting cleaned out obviously there's crap everywhere right now but it's gonna be pretty good i think once we get it all done, yesterday I tried to apply this with my fingertips and then blend it out with the brush and I think I just like a brush better. I just always like a brush better. And I feel like I use less product today, surprisingly. So then I'm just going to take a stipple brush and just sweep over that and make sure there's not like too much product caked up. This will just pick up anything extra that hasn't like absorbed into my skin so that nothing creases or slides around throughout the day. And then if we're lacking coverage from that, we can go in with concealer to kind of like bring that back. But since I have a little bit left over in my hand now, I'm just gonna buff that into the jawline a little bit too. I'm pretty happy with my skin. I do get little breakouts here and there. But the one area that drives me crazy, aside from my saggy eyelids, is this like spot on my cheek. You probably can't see it too well right now, but I just have some broken capillaries right there and they drive me crazy. I feel like my skin tone overall is pretty even, but being so fair, I feel like this sticks out and it's just right in the middle of my face and it's so pink, but oh well. Now I'll go in with the CoverGirl, I don't even remember what this is called, True Blend Undercover Concealer on the back of my hand. Grab that with my Real Technique setting brush. I still haven't gotten the hang of like not making ugly faces when I'm doing my makeup. When you're on YouTube, you just want to give people the least amount of opportunities as possible to give you crap for stuff, even if it's stupid, like the faces you make while you're putting on concealer. Do a little on my chin. I think that's all I'm gonna do for that. I'm gonna use the same brush and set that with my Glossier Wowder. Okay, so then I left out a couple different bronzers and blushes and highlighters and stuff like that. I left out these cream um, ones. This is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Foundation Stick in Cocoa that I like to contour with. There it is. And then the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Pinched. And then the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Illuminator in Moonstone for the highlight. So I did leave those out because some days I prefer creams and some days I prefer powders. It just kind of depends. I think today, let's just use the cream. So let me show you what powders I left out just so that you know. I left out my Hourglass 
Ambient Lighting Ghost Palette, my Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder, and then the ColourPop Blush in I Need Space. But I think we'll go in with the creams today just to kind of mix it up because I haven't done this in a little while. Ooh, I had a lot on it. Just gonna work that all over, whoops. Not sure how that happened. That's okay. This will be good to test out with the foundation too because I haven't done cream bronzer with it yet and I can be pretty harsh with my cream bronzer. So it could move the foundation but I feel like nothing has moved. Oh, that looks so good. Then the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in Pinched just on my two fingers like this. Kind of explained this last time too but I just like to do this so that I can be a little bit more symmetrical because my right hand I'm left-handed so my right hand can just like follow my left hand a little easier for the initial lay down and then I'll just like blend it out individually after and then the illuminator as well we'll put on Okay, beautiful. Now that that's on, I'll go ahead and do my eyebrows for that. I'm going to use this eyeshadow out of the Milani Soft and Sultry palette. It's this one right here in the corner. I've been using this for a while and I just really, really like a brow powder, apparently. So I'm gonna use that. The nice thing about it too is it's so fast when you use a powder. It's kind of forgiving too when you go in with a powder. With a lot of like pencils or pomades or anything, once you put the product down, it is stuck. But with a powder, you can kind of like brush it off or blend it out a little bit more so that it's a little bit more forgiving in case you mess up. Today, Zach has to tell our landlord that we're moving. I feel really bad. We don't have like a contract really, it's just like, you know, gentleman's agreement kind of situation. We just pay like month to month and there's no, yeah, there's no like contract or time we have to stay till. So we've been here two and a half years, over two and a half years now. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but I still feel bad, you know? Like he's just this little old man. Oh well. Okay, then I don't know, I don't want to do a lot of eyeshadow today. I'm just not really feeling it. Maybe I'll do just a little bit because we're here. But I kept out the Bare Necessities palette from ColourPop and the So Jaded palette from ColourPop. And of course, the Milani Soft and Sultry palette. This is mostly for my brows, but if I do want to use this, I can. I don't apply eyeshadow most days, but I do like to have it just in case I want it. So I'm gonna go in with the So Jaded palette today. For an everyday, I love using this shade right here called Smoky Quartz. It's so... Pretty. I think I'm just gonna try to pick that shade up with sort of a fluffy brush and just buff it out onto the lid a little bit so that it's a little more diffused because it can get real real bright and I don't want anything like too dark today and I'm gonna put this paper towel under my eye when I do it because I think this is gonna get glitter everywhere and I'm even kind of putting this in the crease a little bit and if we need another like crease shade to give a little more depth we can do that but I think I just want to wear this just give a little wash. That's cute, right? Cute. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a crease shade using Rose Quartz from that same palette just to give a little bit more depth around the edges of that. And even if there's a little shimmer in my crease, that's okay with me. A lot of people don't like that though and that's totally fine too, but for some reason it doesn't really bother me. I almost think it makes it look a little more natural when it's less precise. That just kind of grounded the look a little bit better, so that's cute. Then on a nice little flat brush, I'm gonna take the shade Pearl to highlight my inner corner. Since we put that crease shade up there, I'm gonna put some under the lid as well. 
and I think that's still super soft for every day. Okay, and then the mascara that I decided to keep out is the only mascara that I have right now. It is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. So I'll pop that on really quick and then we just have a lip and then we'll be good to go for the day. I did keep out quite a few lip products too because, you know, you can change up your mood quite a bit with a different lip color. So I'll show you the ones I have right here. And then I also have a bunch of others in my purse, but they're the same ones you hear me talk about all the time. This mascara is like good. I like it when I first get it, even though I think the biggest issue I have with it is it's like super messy. I always get it all over my lid. I think it's because the brush is maybe so fat. I don't know, but it's starting to dry out and I'm kind of excited because I want to try something else. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm kind of over it. I don't know if that's because it's drying out or if it's because before this I used the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I really liked that. I feel like I just got so used to how that one builds up and how to remove it and all the things that when I came back to a normal mascara, it's been like really tough. Like this eye every time looks so crazy and like spidery and it's like it won't, I can't separate the lashes with this. I don't understand it. I just gotta stop, you know, you just gotta stop yourself. That looks okay, I guess. All right, now lips. The only lip products I have in here are two of these ColourPop Just a Tint lip colors. We've got Z Boys and Give Me S'mores. And then I have the Aquarius lip gloss from ColourPop as well. Those are the only ones that I have in here. Um, I do have more in my bag, like I said, but they're not anything you haven't heard of before. Because I honestly haven't bought new makeup aside from that foundation in a while. So I'm just going to use the um, Aquarius lip gloss today. This is just like the perfect lip gloss that's more of a cool toned pink without being like purple or bubblegummy or anything like that. Like it still looks like a nude. Okay. There she is, that's that. Alrighty guys, that is my full face of makeup using everything that I'm leaving out and reusing for the next week and a half or so until we move and I have all my collection out again. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Tell me if there's anything you wanna see from me down below and I'll see you next time, bye.